hello fierce family welcome back to my channel all right so today we have the upper body workout at the gym today we are going to tone our arms okay let's build those arm muscles let's strengthen our arms so on and so forth come on in let's crush this workout together okay right now let's start with our warm-up right i always ring that all the time on this channel you have to warm up before you start any exercise at all before you start working out make sure that your body is warm probably you've been sitting down you've not been moving so much so you just have to move a little bit shake your body a little bit before you go into your workout all right so you can do some jumping jacks you can pick up some light weights here i have some lightweight dumbbells using it to uh, you know, train. All right. So now we are getting into the main workout. Today we are focusing on our upper body. So all the machines we are going to be using in the gym to today are um, machines that are for upper body training. Okay. Although some of them you still can use them if you're doing like um, your legs also. Like this one where I'm standing in front of, you can also bring the stuff down and use it for your leg. But Today, we're doing our upper body. Join me as we train together. Okay? All right. So now, each exercise, we will repeat three times before we move on to the next. But I do not want this video to be too long. So I have actually showed you just the first set of different types of upper body workouts. Okay? But if you are at the gym you're doing this you can pause this video if you do not know what to do and you're just new at the gym pause the video and watch repeat each exercise three times before you move on to the next here i'm doing 15 uh, reps okay for each exercise okay so i'm doing 15 reps you can do anywhere from uh 12 15 it just depends on what your body can handle it depends on your strength level it depends on how long you've been training and so many other factors okay so anywhere from 8 10 or 12 if you can handle that you can bring it down to six okay so three sets of each before you move on to the next okay so if you're doing eight you do eight 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 before you move on to the next exercise okay all right now something i have to say make sure you take your breaks in between your exercise okay you stop you can stand up from the machine walk around the gym come back sit down and continue okay just don't go uh, from one to the next to the next to the next all the way till the end okay all right so here we're walking you can see you can see those muscles right it is not easy but trust me before you get those results you have to work for it okay you have to sweat for it you have to do something that is not in your comfort zone, okay? You have to go out of your comfort zone to get it done if you want to get good results, right? Okay, so here we're also doing the pull-ups. So as I said, these workouts are good. They will help strengthen your arms. They will help define your upper body. You know, if you're someone that you're looking to build those arm muscles and you know, you see those guys lift their arms and you can see the, their arms look so defined and all that, that you can do, okay? All right, so here you can see me, I have my dumbbells and I'm just lifting it. You can see that this dumbbell I have now, it's heavier than the one that I was using when I was warming up. So that's why I told you that you should pick up a lightweight uh dumbbells or whatever you want to use or do some jumping jacks or whatever you want to do while you're warming up when you get into the main exercise then you look for a weight that you can handle when you pick it up if you feel like you cannot do eight reps for this in go lower drop that kilo and go lower until you find one that is perfect for you okay here you can see he has a bigger one this is bigger than what i was handling and heavier so you you must train and slowly build till you get to that level where you can lift the very very huge um kilos very big uh weights that you see at the gym okay if you're new don't feel any type of way when you see other people training and they look well they look fit and all of that some people have been doing this for so many years some people have been trained for so long that their body is used to it, everything. Is. So don't feel shy when you go to the gym and uh, you see people crushing it. You see people doing different types of workouts and it's almost like, 
oh how is it that these people can do this but i can't start slowly and build up to where you want to be okay because everybody have different targets everybody have different reasons while they go to the gym some people wants to lose weight meanwhile some people wants to you know add a little bit and then build their muscles so they look bigger in size so we all have different reasons why we're going some people are just going to the gym for their well-being you know for their health for health reasons doctors suggest you go exercise and all of that so they have to go to the gym you know so different people different story just train give it your best let me know if you try this at the gym please come back leave me a comment below and if you're new on this channel subscribe let me know if you want to see more of this type of videos or you just let me know in the comment section what kind of videos you want to see workout videos okay because i also put out vlogs also but let me know what kind of workout videos you would love to see but that being said let's keep on training i know you can do this i know you can crush it now trust me if you're someone that you have been procrastinating to go register um at a public gym you know, not everybody, some people own gyms in their home. Not everybody owns a uh, gym. So if you've been procrastinating, please, please, please go register and start. If you do not know where to start, watch YouTube videos. You will see people training. You will see how they use the different machines. And every gym, they have people there. Or you can even ask the owner. If there's nobody there to help you out, they don't have trainers available, you can ask the owner. And on the other hand, when you see people that are well-trained also in the gym, you can ask them because a lot of them, they've been going to the gym for so many years. Now they are used to all the machines in the gym. They know how to use them. They know what muscles, uh, they will ask you what part of the body you want to build, explain to them. They will be able to point out different types of machines that you can use and they will show you how to use them. That is if you're registered in a gym where they have friendly people because if the gym is too big then people are people might not be that friendly because there's so many people and so on and so forth so if you are starting out i would advise you go to a smaller gym because in smaller gym it's almost like everybody knows everybody and all everybody says hello to everybody and it's easy for you to ask questions so you're not left out they will explain to you what to do now while you do that please get a pen and paper and write down all the information that they are telling you. So should, in case you go to the gym and no one is there, you're the first at the gym or you, as you're coming in, like the last person is also leaving and you're just alone there, you have to train. You have these papers to read and remind yourself of what you have to do. Thank you very much for joining me. Subscribe, like, and share.